About halfway. How's the ice hold? Good. It'll hold until we get in. And ice and that shrimp are one big happy family, Captain. A&B for Johnson. This is the Captain Geach. Come in, please. Over. A&B for Johnson. This is the Captain Geach. Over. Hey, Captain Geach. This is A&B, Johnson. Receiving you okay. Go ahead. We're about three hours out. Good haul. About 15 boxes of 12 to 22 count. Condition holding good and ice okay. <laughs> and you better get out your checkbook, Cap. We're really loaded this time. <laughs> good. Maybe this load will put us even on all those busted nets. See you about 6 p.m. at the dock. Out. Wait till Pop here as we tore up another set of nets. They'll tear us apart. Yeah, I know. But what the devil are we snagging on? And the charts show mud bottom for a couple miles in either direction. And the catch proves that. Well, I'm going to find out. Next trip. and come up to the hotel. Barb can handle the checkoff. Right. or else. <laughs> Full load of the big ones, just like the Biltmore wants for its cocktails. But we snagged our nets again. Sorry. Son, those nets are gold. Four nets in three weeks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to sell out. Two boats in dry dock, one for a new diesel and the other with a stove-in hull. And now this net thing comes up. Neely, I tell you, we're done. Now, wait. If we got enough dough left to make one more drag, excluding mine, and the crew shares this trip. I guess so. Or I can raise it. I've still got some credit left. Okay. I want to go out again, early tomorrow morning, with an extra hand and some special gear. Now, those shrimp beds of ours off Tortugas are too good to abandon. There's something screwy about the bottom, and I'd like a chance to find out what. Okay, son. Go to it. But this is our last chance. Those motor people and the guys from the dry dock want their dough, or they're going to tie up our boats with a court order. Yeah, I know. Oh, there he is over there.
Good evening, Mr. Ryan. Evening. Hi, Mom. Hi, Hi Bob. Hi, and how is that pretty wife of yours? She's fine, Mom. I want to talk to you, Ryan. Is it private? Yes. Would you sing that favorite song of mine for me? Glad to. Sit down. What's in your mind? Important business. Can't wait them in the day's baby's birthday, you know. Afraid not. Do you mind, sweetie? Well... side of Tampa, and we need your help bad. For what? Well, every time we drag our nets over those shrimp beds off the tortugas, they get ripped. They're snagging on something. We want to know what it is. Why don't you go to another spot? There's plenty of good shrimp being taken towards you over time. No, this is the best spot we've hit yet. It's closer than the Mexican beds. Mm -hmm. Get underway by six in the morning. All right. I got to become a gift first. Good. Right. Let's go then. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Ryan. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Mom, Captain, really want me to go on a trip for a couple of days. Business. Take our baby here. Mm -hmm. Okay, son. Thanks, Lee. Bye. <laughs> no, good night, Mrs. Ryan. Good night. See you, Mom. Be careful now. Is that light? Oh. You gotta bring out that air compressor over there. Neely, we're short on line. You better grab some extra. Okay, I'll grab this. I guess all this goes. Yeah. Uh, 
seems yeah. to be everything. Okay, boy, let's get the stuff on the truck. Good, maybe we can get an hour's rest before sunup. Night before last, Ryan. Now let's get your gear rigged and get you over the side. Roger, Skipper. Okay, boys. Now I'm a dress. Flame out about 25 of the light flying in our holes. Bob, you turn my line. Roger. Okay, let's go. Okay? Standard signals, okay? There's a bell. Condition is good. Put the line out at a standard speed.
All smooth and easy. You ought to be on the bottom in about four minutes. Ah, good. Tell him to give us the word when he hits the bottom, especially about bottom condition. I just want to prove the charts are right. Check. Hey, Dan, I'm getting no smell so good. What are you doing? Going into one of Neely's socks? Bottom coming up. Take it easy on the line. Hey, keep that line taut. Don't give him any slack until he calls for it. Pretty good. Where do I go from here? Tell them to try it to the south. Try it to the south, Ryan. Keep a line coming steady. Keep us going, going out steady. Start me up. Okay, Ryan, last lap, top side. You too, Bob. Right. Fellas, fit the jackpot. What's that, that Bob? And besides the coins, there's bullion down there. You mean it could be one of those Spanish plate chips? Looks like it. And it'll be worth all the net you've torn, believe me. believe it either, Cap, but there it is. What's the salvage possibilities? 
How much gear will it take? Now, wait a minute. How do you expect me to know how much is down there? But it's bound to be plenty. Salvageable? Yes. And it won't take much to get it. This bar has been pretty good to me financially these past ten years. Because of fellows like you that have built up my bank balance and gold reserve. So even if my boy wasn't in on it, Cap, you can count on me too. Thanks, Mrs. Ryan. I appreciate that. And I'm liable to call on you. Yeah, but that's, that's not what's bothering me. Neely, how many men did you have aboard this morning? Six. Exactly how many saw how excited we were and something was in the wind? Well, I guess so. See what I mean? Now, we got it, but can we keep it? Now, we're gonna need twice the crew for the diving job, and we gotta be choosy. Now, I know two guys I can trust. Cap, do you know anybody at all you can get that will keep the mouth shut? Well, I know one, that colored boy off the little bill. He's a good man. He's okay. Tomorrow champagne. If you don't stop, there won't be any charm. Mm. Incidentally, how many beers have you had? Hey, baby. You're not going to believe this, but I think we're finally in the chips. What, what are you talking about? We struck gold, baby. And I don't mean no shrimp. I mean just what I said. Gold. Did you say gold? We just found ourselves one of Senor Cortez's sweet little old floating strong boxes. Yes, sir, I can see it now. The little place on Flagler. The one with the patio. Is it real? Real? Baby, what do you think I've been hogging about for the past half hour? Sweetheart, now listen to me. We found a ship today, rather Ryan found it, and it's loaded with coins, just like this one. Now, all we got to do is get some more men and heavier gear and go on out and dig it up. It's as simple as that. But that's going to take money, Bob. I know, baby. And you said the cat was just about out Cap of... and Ryan and Neely and me figured it all out. It won't take much if it's handled four ways. Now, all we got to do is chip in. Oh, I see. No, baby, you don't see. Dottie, yes. Dottie, listen, we're going to have it back a hundred times in a couple of weeks. Sure. Look, baby, then you're going to have that operation with a private room, even. Sure. Sure, Bob. And it'll be a success. And we'll have kids. We'll have all the kids we want. We'll have so blooming many kids, you won't be able to find a place to walk in the house. <laughs> Two miles south. Oh, hi, hi Neely. This is Lee Chuck. He worked for Jack McShane out of Savannah. Well, the boys tell me that he's handy on deck and that he's done a little diving. Which one of Jack's boats are you on, Lee Chuck? Louisa. Oh, Louisa? Wasn't she the one that went up on the reef on Sugarloaf? Heard some talk about a fight among the crew. Yeah, that's her. Hard luck tub if I ever saw one. How much did Barb tell you? That you got a job for me. Okay, Lee Chuck. We'll sign you on. We're getting underway as soon as the rest of the gear gets in here from Tampa. This is kind of a special job. And I don't want anything you hear around here blabbed in some bar. Okay, boss. Okay, boys. See you on the boat at six in the morning. And boy, we 
them shoes, my wife will ray. Well, I'll be making out with them gals on Petronia Street come Saturday night. <laughs> now, look here, you little monkey. Don't go getting a lot of fancy ideas about being in the chips until we get what we come out here for and get back. Now, get up and let a man sit down. Now, wait a minute, Lee Chalk. I got as much right as you got. Come on, beat it, scum, before I toss you over the side. this thing working, Ryan? Like a charm. Elevator going down. Next stop, bargain basement. We hope. I'm at the wreck. Lower her basket while I see how lucky we are. Keep her where she is and take the slack out of my line. Roger. Get the slack out of my line.
on top side. Ain't anybody talking to me? Sure, sure, Ryan. For a minute, I was overcome by that beautiful yellow stuff. Hey, Bob, what did that go for? Mink or armor? Um... Are you kidding? In this climate, the first thing I'm buying is a deep freeze. And no cracks. First drag was terrific. Looks like the shrimp bed ought to be good for another week or ten days. Good going, Neely. No sign of any storm warning in the next 48-hour forecast. I'll bring you off fresh supplies day after tomorrow. Fine, Cap. See you then. How's everything going? Wonderful, Cap. Come on inside, I'll show you. Well, I'll be a... I hadn't any idea it was gonna be like this. I wish I could take all the credit for this, Cap. But Ryan's a boy. Ryan, who's what? Hiya, Pop. Hi, Ryan. Good job, Ryan. Look at the Irish. <laughs> How's the crew behaving? How are they taking all this? Well, it's all going smooth, Cap. There's only one guy I can't figure, and that's Lee Chuck. Seems to be carrying a chip on his shoulder. Now, there's something bothering him, and he's got the whole crew sore at him. All he does is share the work all right, but the crew sure hates his guts. Hmm, I don't like the sound of that. On a deal like this, everybody's got to stick together, or there's liable to be trouble. Better keep an eye on that guy. See if you can sound him out. All right, where's the go?
I wonder what he's up to. What? That must have been me, Chuck. Bob? Bob? Oh, God. Key West Harbor Police, come in. This is the Captain Geach. Over. This is Key West Harbor Police. Come in. Over. Request apprehension of 27-foot cruiser, the swim fin. Last heading north of Tortugas, in Key West General Direction. Man aboard has committed murder. Caution. Man is probably armed. Over. We'll notify the Coast Guard. Intercept the man. Key West out. Roger. The Captain Geach out. Poor kid. Just when he had it by the tail. Who's going to tell that? Who we'll take care of that on the way in? Willie! Throw over the marker, boy, and check up the anchors. We're getting underway as soon as they're up. Yes, sir, Captain. Be ready in two minutes. Oh, Captain Davis says we're going to way fast.
up. Keep talking to those guys. I've got something to do. Ryan, one murder is enough. Let the law handle it. Please, Mom. I'll explain in a taxi. Come on, please. Okay. good shrimp or husband of mine. Don't tell me he's at some bar celebrating. Dad, let's go inside. Well, I guess he's got reason to celebrate at that. Hey, I got a roast cooking. I almost forgot. It's okay. I was afraid of cooking it too fast. Heaven help me if I get Mr. B's beef too well done. Cut it down. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Sit down. What's the matter, Ryan? Oh, God. That Bobby coming home. He was killed this morning on the boat. Killed? We were out of the wreck, honey. We were all asleep. I didn't know what had happened until it was all over. At least I got away. But we'll get him, don't you worry. We'll get him, don't you worry, honey. Come on, baby, and cry. <laughs> cry, cry real hard. Get out of bed. <laughs> 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 you see, child, 
It's this cankerous greed for gold that start men into wrecking, stealing, and sometimes killing. Oh, many's the time I've seen that yellow gleam in a man's eye, gloating over just a four-dollar pot in a stud poker game. This time, Lee Chalk was the dealer. Dealer with aces up his sleeve, crooked aces. While Bard, he just held the deuces. I know. God, baby, Mom knows you've had a hard blow. And there's nothing, nothing me or any of us can do except prove to be your friends. Friends that will help you as much as we can. But you too, you must try, you must try, darling, get a grip on yourself. And be brave and strong. You must. You struck like a barracuda, vicious. Just for hate. No sense. Just to kill. He'd have had his share. Enough for all of us. But the skunk had to act like a stinking barracuda. Why? But Lee, don't you and the others do anything foolish. Son, if you, if you get mixed up in this, you'll only have another woman grieving for her boy. Lee, listen to me, listen. You must, you must let the law, the law handle this, please. Óyeme, Dios, te llamo yo. Sí, Dios. Hondo en el mar, te llamo yo. Sí, Dios. Óyeme, Dios, te llamo yo. Sí, Dios. Hondo en el mar, te llamo yo. Sí, Dios.
He's trapped, Benny. He wouldn't be stupid enough to show around here, though. He's either holed up on some key, or he's got back to Key West. I've tried to raise you to be. And now that this terrible thing's happened to you, more than ever, you've got to prove you're still a good boy. Don't run. Stay here and face it. Son, listen to me and try and understand. Running away won't solve nothing. Oh, I don't want my boy to be a fugitive. Always running, scared of being followed and getting in deeper and deeper till he can't find his way out. Don't you see? Mom, please don't. I gotta go. But I'll let you know where I am as soon as I can. The police be in a minute. Please, darling, pray for me. I love you. He's out the county hospital, and they're booking him for Bob's killing. They got him, just like that. Sonny. Hmm? Remember how the last part of Mom's song goes? Like, Carry gold can let you do the thing you want to do now you can wake up each day and thankfully pray for your share of the carib gold 